Although JSON placeholder is an excellent resource for learning to fetch data in XJS, we need control over the data to fully understand the upcoming concepts. To achieve that, we will use the JSON server package. Begin by selecting the stable version on npm.js, then scroll down to the getting started section. Copy the npm install command. In VS Code, open your terminal, and within the project folder, which is data fetching demo, paste the copied command. Remove the dash g option. So npm install JSON server at 0.17.4. It is crucial to install this version and not version one to follow along properly. After installation, at the root of your project, create a file named db.json. Here, paste in a JSON array of three products, each with an ID, title, price, and description. You can find this file, db.json, in my Next.js GitHub repo. We have three products in total. This file will act as our database. Next, at the root of your project once again, create a server.js file. Here, I'm going to paste the code for a custom JSON server. This configuration sets up a JSON server on port 3001. It uses db.json with the three products as the data source. Although it is possible to run JSON server in a much more simpler manner, we are opting for this custom server setup to help gain a deeper understanding of the upcoming topics. Particularly, this console log statement request received to detect incoming requests is very important. Please make sure you have this file content by copying it again from the GitHub repo. To launch the JSON server, run node server in the terminal. A JSON server will be active at localhost port 3001 slash products. We have our products JSON array of three products with ID, title, price, and description. Slash products here corresponds to products entry in db.json. If you're interested in learning more about JSON server, I have an entire playlist that you can refer to. All right, we now have set up a get API endpoint to slash products that we fully control and can use in the upcoming videos. We also see our request received log statement. Now there are several important concepts to cover, so let's dive into them one at a time, starting with the next video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.